QA Pilot videos are powered by Virtual Fly. Hello there, friends and followers, and welcome to this Explain 11 video. Today, we're going to be doing a full flight service from Madeira to La Palma aboard the Zebo Boeing 737. Today, we're going to be flying Iberia, and our approximate flight time is one hour. Our final cruise altitude today is 34,000 feet. All right, let's get things started. Uh, we're going to head over here and set the ground power unit. And a lot of you have been asking me, how do we get the rain effect, the new rain effect? And all you need to do is go to the visual effects and select the third item here, this one. And we're pretty much now good. Let's go ahead and uh, find out. Let me see here, aircraft. Uh, this is our operational flight plan. So we have it uh, ready. And we can now start with the cockpit preparation. Uh, battery is on and we're going to connect the ground power unit. We're going to set the adheres to nav mode. And let's see here. Actually, let me do let me do this. That's much better. Uh, emergency lights are armed. Um, Non-smoking and fasten seatbelt signs are on. Window heat is on. Hydraulics on and left and right pack on auto and that's pretty much it here we're going to set the flight altitude to 34,000 feet that is set and now we can perform the uh, tests here so the engine fire test All right and cargo fire test and the APU fire test and all checks okay. All right, we'll head over back to the overhead panel. Stall number one. Stall number two. And speed warning. One and two. And everything checks okay. All right. So we are now ready to start programming the FMC. All looks good here. Yep, let's start the leg. And let's start with the FMC. We're going to grab the... I just really like this iPad. All right, you take it over here and you can zoom it a little bit. Set this right. And fuel and balance first. Let's uh, take a look at our flight plan. Fuel and balance. Balance, we need 12,466. We're going to round this up to 12,500. 12.5 and we're going to head over to the FMC position initialization and we are uh, currently at Lima Papa Mike Alpha and next page grab the GPS position Guys, the wheels on that board. is set Go to route, our origin, and the destination is Golf Lima Charlie Alpha. No, that's not right. Golf Charlie Lima Alpha. Yep. Flight number, we are Iberia. Hey, are you there? 1974. And we go to departure. And we are going to be departing today, uh, let's see here. Departing runway 23 through the Tabum 6 Sierra, Sid. That's the one. Route, next page. And then we're gonna head over to uh, Gulf 851 Airway. Gulf 851 Airway, and we're going to exit at Ortis. And finally, it is our arrival into uh, La Palma, runway 36 through the, Orti, the Ortis 3 vector, 
star. So we'll head over here to the arrival and Ortis 3 vector, that's the one. And we're going to do an NDB approach, runway 36. All right, root, activate, and execute. Let's take a quick look at our flight plan. Make sure there are no discos, and there are no discos. Now, if we head over to the plan here, uh, this is our, um, let's take a quick look at our charts. Let's see here. So this is our departure today from La pa uh, from uh, beg your pardon from Madeira, uh, runway two three. So that's runway two three here, and we're gonna take off. And then it says after takeoff, start the left turn as soon as practical, I guess, to avoid high ground on the right side, uh, this side here. And yes, there are some there's some mountainous terrain here on the to our right. And then we're going to make this left turn and uh, fly the uh, the SID. Okay. All right. So we're going to look at our arrival here at uh, La Palma. And this is our star into La Palma, the RT3 vector. And as you can see here, we're going to come from the Ortis transition all the way here to Brick and from Brick to Araco. And from Arc, we're going to click on Approach. That's NDB Runway 36. It's a DME Arc. And this is Arco. We need to be, uh, there is a, a restriction here as we fly the DME Arc 4,500 feet. And then we're going to make the turn on 351 degrees to uh, intercept the NDB station, which is 389 uh, Bravo X ray. That's the NDB station that we're going to intercept and then land at uh, runway 36. All right, sounds uh, like it's, you know, fairly straightforward. Uh, let's head back to our flight plan here. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to click on step or to spread our code. Uh, what I'm going to do just for situational awareness is I'm going to set a 20 nautical mile radius around this particular point uh, just so, so that we know um, once we are approaching uh, the uh, beginning of our uh, approach into La Palma. So let's head over here and say fix and we're going to enter the uh, waypoint here. Arco. And 20 mile radius. All right, that's it. We have it there now. And everything else looks good in terms of our flight plan. As you can see, we have the restriction here per our chart uh, showing the 4500 and the 3400 uh, exactly like our charts. Okay, we're going to head now to performance initialization and the final reserves. We'll head back over to our fuel section here Final reserves about 2.4, 2.4. The cost index is 29. Cruise altitudes is 34,000 feet. Cruise wind 34342, 34342. And deviation is eight. All right, everything else looks good. Execute and next N1 limit. We're not flying very heavy today, so let's go ahead and derate further to about 94.7. And takeoff flaps today is flaps five. Center of gravity 24.1. That gives us a trim of 4.26. That's about right. V1, 121. V rotate, 122. And V2 is 134. All right, everything looks good here. And now we should have all our um, altitudes set in the FMC. If we click back here, yep, we have everything there. We no longer need uh, this guy here. 
if I can remove it. All right. So we are set here in terms of the FMC. What we can do is begin the APU now. So let's start the APU. And we'll just wait for the APU to become available. In the meantime, we can listen to the ATIS. All right, let's see here, 122.2. Lima, Papa, Mike, Alpha, airport information, golf 0500, Zulu, weather, wind 005, at 1, 2, visibility 1, 0, 000, sky condition 1, 500, scattered temperature 1, 6, dew point 1, 1, QNH 1024, advice on initial contact, you have information, golf. Okay, 1024. Lima. And I set this here as well. One zero two four. And uh, auto brake to rejected takeoff. Let's set our speeds here. And FMC. Let's see here. One three four. And. This one goes to 34,000 feet, which is our final cruise altitude today. Flight directors, both on. And we are now pretty much ready for pushback. Let's check here on the APU. The APU is now available. Okay, I'm going to turn on all the fuel pumps and the APU bleed is on. Um, steady. Anti-collision is on, and we can now start the pushback procedures. Okay, we'll head over here. And Ladies and gentlemen, the boarding door is now closed. Flight attendants, prepare doors for departure. Crash check, verify strap, stand by for all call. Ground services, we no longer need the GPU. All right, we've got everyone strapped in. Give us Better a ring pushback. if you need anything. Ground to cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. All right, the tow truck is on its way. Starting pushback, you may start the engines. All right, <clears throat> the pushback has now started and we have clearance to start our engines. We're gonna start with engine number two first and we're gonna turn off the packs. There we go. And the engine number two is now spooling. Please be sure your seat back, your tray table are up, and carry on bag. Destroying smoke detectors in the laboratories may result in a fire. Engine number two is stable. Let's go ahead and start engine number one. We have a good start on both engines. Set the gens, and the engine mode selectors to continuous. Yo, damper is on. Everything else here is good. Everything else is good here as well. Um, let's see here. Probe heat is on. Operation complete. Set parking brake. All right, let's set parking brake. Disconnecting though. Stand by. Trim air is on. Left and right pack on auto. Isolation valve on auto. APU bleed goes off and we turn off the APU. All right, we're just, uh, we need to set our flaps to flaps five. All right, flaps five is set. 
and we just need to uh, we need to wait for the ground equipment to clear and we'll be on our way to runway 23 for takeoff set here terrain airport and we'll set the weather on the other side and let's see here Transponder code is 2000 and no is disconnected. The bar pin has been removed and signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Okay, thank you very much for your service. Now we're just going to wait for the uh, pushback truck to clear. Okay. Runway turn off lights are on, taxi lights are on, and we are good to go. Let's release the parking brake and head over to the runway. Parking brake released. And let's go. All right, we're lining up now with runway 23 for departure. Two, three. All right, there we go. Let's get lined up. Looking good. And we're going to go to about 40% of N1. All right, we are stable and toga. Oops. All right, 40% and toga. Change the autopilot. We can turn off the auto brake, lock the gear in position, and we can now track our flaps. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Okay, let's give it some lights. All right, we continue our climb now to uh, 34,000 feet. Barrel reference is set to standard, and we are continuing our climb now to 34,000 feet, and we are at 250 knots as we are below 10,000 feet. All's looking good. Let's go ahead and increase the range here to 40 nautical miles. And this is, uh, as you can see, top room. As you can see, this is the aircraft uh, on the Navigraph charts. And we're heading now over to the top room fix. And we just passed 10,000 feet. We can kill the lights. everything else is looking good. All right, so uh, we're going to continue to climb now to 34,000 feet. 
I will let you guys enjoy the flight. We'll check back with you as soon as we level off. So enjoy the flight. Belt fastened and visible to the crew when the seatbelt sign is auctioned, as carry-on items may have shifted during takeoff. Welcome back folks, uh, we are now cruising at our final cruise altitude of 34,000 feet and that puts us approximately 131 nautical miles from the top of descent point. Now what we need to do is we need to consult our charts. Uh, so let's head back to uh, La Palma and we're going to take a look at our approach. This is the uh, runway. 36 the NDB approach and as you can see here we have the NDB uh, frequency so we're going to set that to 389 in the aircraft so let's do that I'm going to head over to this section here as you can see the ADF we're going to set this to 389 and we're going to make it the active frequency and we're going to do the same thing here 3 Eight, nine, three, oh, come on, three, uh, all right, three, eight, nine, all right, that is set, and the next thing we need to do is set the approach course, which is three, five, one, I believe. Yeah, final approach course is 351 degrees, which is set on both sides. So we're good. And actually, we don't need VOR, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to ADF. And we're going to do the same thing on this side here. All right. So we are pretty much now configured. Uh, for the NDB approach at uh, La Palma and everything else is looking good alright so I'd like to hear your thoughts on uh, on the comparison between uh, the Zebo mod and the PMDG 737 now I will tell you that based on my own interrogation of uh, this subject the PMDG 737 is a, an extremely advanced aircraft with very, very deep system simulation. And most of the functions that are available in the PMDG 737 are not used by most users, um, especially when it comes to programming the FMC and putting in those DME arcs. And as you can see here, when we uh, there is a DME arc in our, in our flight plan, it's not drawn properly. Um, but with the PMDG, actually, you'll see that the DME arc is, uh, is beautifully drawn, for example. And there are a lot of things that you can do in terms of uh, adding fixes, removing fixes. Uh, the way it's done in the PMDG is quite advanced, very close to the real aircraft. And this aircraft is also very sophisticated in terms of what it offers, uh, in terms of the, both the system simulation and the flight model according to real-world pilots uh, the Zebo Mod 737 flies slightly better than the PMDG 737 when compared to the real-world aircraft so I'd like to hear your thoughts what do you guys think Welcome back again, folks. Uh, we are approximately 34 nautical miles from the top of descent mark. And as you can see here, if we consult our chart, this is the brick fix. And then we're going to fly to a heading of 225 degrees uh, to Araco. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to reset the MCP altitude now to 4,500 feet, which is the first restriction. There we go, 4,500 feet, as you can see, 25 nautical miles to top of descent now. So we are getting closer to our destination. 
and we should begin our top descent now. As you can see now, the aircraft has begun the automatic descent. We need to also slow down to 240 knots, uh, but we're going to let the aircraft do its thing here as soon as we have a stable rate of descent. Uh, we will uh, reduce our speed. All right, let's go ahead and check the weather information at our destination. Uh, we're going to go to conditions and Gulf, Charlie, Lima, Alpha, La Palma, partly cloudy, uh, 18 Celsius, uh, pleasant really at uh, La Palma. Uh, surface winds, uh, 340, and uh, five knots at 340 degrees. Uh, shouldn't be a problem really as we come to approach uh, the runway. All is looking good. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch to vertical speed and I'm gonna reduce our speed to 240 knots. We continue our descent to 4,500 feet, which is the first restriction. We are at 240 knots now. And as you can see, this is the 20 mile nautical ring that we've created around um, Araco. And, and if we look at our charts now, as you can see here, we are approaching um, Araco here. That would be the end of our um, star, really, in the beginning of the DME approach into, um, into La Palma. So all is looking good at the moment. Uh, rate of descent is fine. And our speed is good. So we're looking good for our approach. I still have the speed brakes um, extended to maintain 240 knots as we are descending at uh, 2100 feet per minute. We are approaching 10,000 feet now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our lights and everything else here. And let's see here. So we are at uh, 240 knots. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce our speed now to 220 knots. There we go. And we're just gonna maintain. By the way, uh, this here, and so this segment here from Araco is the actual DME arc. And as you can see now, we can see the, uh, the, glide, the glide slope on the localizer docks here appearing. Um, now, th this is not exactly how it should be drawn. Uh, it needs to be a bit curved, uh, but I guess this is a, either a limitation of X-plane or uh, the aircraft itself. All right, we're coming down. We're looking good in terms of the... I'm going to reduce our rate of descent to 1,800 feet now. We are approaching uh, the first restriction. Uh, when we fly the DME arc, we need to be at 4,500. And let me just show you guys the... Uh, so this is the aircraft, and as you can see, we are approaching the Araco. And once we are here, we're going to be flying this... Uh, Thousand ago. Uh, 16 DME arc at 4,500 feet. And this is the final approach course, 351. Altimeter and we're going to intercept the NDB. Uh, NDB 389 here at La Palma and land the aircraft. So we're looking good. Uh, okay, standard is 1026 and we'll do the same thing here. Oops, 1026. All right, so that is set as well. And now we're going to begin our turn and fly the DME arc at uh, Araco. We're going to maintain 4,500 feet until the next restriction, which is 3,400 feet. And we're just going to fly level now uh, until the next restriction. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to reset the MCP altitude to 3,400. By the way, that's the airport right there. And the runway is right about here, actually here, somewhere here. Uh, visibility is okay, 
So let's go ahead and reduce our range here to 20 nautical miles so we can see what's going on. And I'm going to reset the MCP altitude to 3,400 feet. There we go, 3,400. And let's take a look here. Yeah, we're still fine. And in about nine or so nautical miles, uh, we can actually begin reducing our speed now. So what I'll do is I'm going to reduce our speed to about, uh, let's say, 180 knots. Flaps one. And we need to configure the aircraft for our approach. We're going to do flaps 40 and 128. Okay, so flaps 40 and final approach speed is 128. That's done. All right. Let's reduce the speed a bit here to. 173. Okay. We're going to maintain this speed and uh, let's see, we can actually uh, go to about, let's see here, 150 and we're going to go to flaps 5 now. And now we have begun our turn to final and we're going to hit the approach button. It's looking good. All right, the runway is right ahead of us there now, and all is looking good. As you can see here, we're going to begin reducing our speed now as soon as we hit this mark here. All right, let's go ahead and do a level change, and we're going to start reducing, uh, descending, beg your pardon, to 34,000 feet. All right, and at this point, we're going to go to flaps 10, 15. We're going to reduce our speed, flaps 15, and I'm going to lower the landing gear, auto brake to 3, engine mode selectors to continuous, our final approach speed. Flaps 25, flaps 30, and flaps 40. All right, at this point, I'm going to disengage the autopilot and I'm going to take over. All right, my airplane. Little bit of uh, crosswind here, about five knots or so. But we're looking good. And I'm going to go ahead and 
kill the auto throttle as well. And we're going to take over now. Let's make a turn here and bring the aircraft to a complete stop and take a look at our landing. There we go. And as you can see we have been identified as a 737-800. There we go. Alright, stop. Set the parking brake. And let's take a look at our landing. Well folks, I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Links to the Zebo mod and the two freeware airports will be provided to you in the description section of the video. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.